Ninth pick. <clears throat> they traded it uh, with uh, the Carolina Panthers. Uh, welcome back. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I interrupted. Okay, all right, hold on a second. Uh, welcome back. Uh, I wanted to let you know the Browns are taking Jeremiah uh, Azuio uh, Koromoa, linebacker, Notre Dame, with training with the Carolina Panthers uh, for the 52nd pick, which they had the 59th, but traded. And the Tennessee Titans are on, now on the clock with their pick is in. But joining me right now to discuss this, this pick the Browns made, uh, is my buddy Keith Norman, who can hear as a frequent calling guest. On uh, the big show hosted by Tony Rizzo on AM, uh, on Sports Radio AMA 50, WKNR. Keith, what are your thoughts on this pick? Uh, Jeremiah uh, OSU uh, Koromoa, linebacker, Notre Dame. What are your thoughts? Because this guy's phenomenal. Yeah, J-O-K. Hey, thank you for having me on your podcast, Scott. J-O-K has been highly touted by the Browns. According to ESPN's Tony Grossi, Yeah, I, and, I, and I can agree with you on that. The Browns really needed that one. Yeah. And uh, this was, I think, one of the, was one of the picks that the uh, Browns really needed, and I think it was a good one for them. And... Uh, I want to get your thoughts on the pick from last night, Greg Newsom the second. What are your thoughts on that one? The uh Yeah, and I can agree with you on that. I can highly agree. Yes, he is. I can agree. And uh, the NFL schedule uh, for the upcoming season will be released on Wednesday, May 12th. I wanted to point that out. Uh, Keith, I'll check back in with you because the Browns have uh, two picks coming up in round three of the NFL draft. So I will check back in with you then. I know you'll call me back then what you will do. All right, thank you, Keith. I appreciate your input, buddy. All right, thank you, Scott. All right, bye-bye. We got your new customers. They get our best deal. We got your existing customers. They also get our best deal. Everyone gets the deal. Question. Scott, why did you use a phone at Marshall? And, uh... Because they want to make sure you remember. The uh, Tennessee Titans took a Dallin, uh... Brad Hewes, uh... Who was that? I had to wait till I see him. But uh, they uh, had uh, really uh, t taken a, a good play in Dylan uh, Rendula. I think he's from, uh, what I'm trying to see, I'm waiting to come up the screen. But he's a great player. The Colts pick is there. We're waiting for that to come in. And uh, with a, what, they've already had one. Uh, they have not had a pick yet in round two, no. But they did have a uh, pick last night. Uh, they did have a pick last night, Indianapolis Colts. Uh, in tw the 21st pick, uh, Kawiti Pay, defensive end, Michigan, which I mentioned earlier. And I thought that was a good pick from They needed a defensive end, but I think they're going to go with uh, uh, 
Defensive end or a safety, I think. But we'll get the draft back on the screen in just a moment. Uh, but this was a uh, one of those picks where uh, anything could happen, and <clears throat> uh, just really, uh, I think, I think uh, with the Browns though, that this was a great pick. He's gonna be phenomenal along with the one we got last night, Greg Newsom the second. So, I think it's going to be a phenomenal, uh, but between those two, it's going to be phenomenal. And uh, we will see what happens with those picks. And hopefully they're going to uh, really try to make the roster. And we will see what happens. Uh, but right now, we're waiting for the Indianapolis Colts pick to come in. Uh, the draft is in commercials, so I'm just going to continue to talk, uh, <clears throat> I talk about... Uh, uh, the Browns, uh, they kind of this was a good trade for the Browns to make, and it got them a great uh, uh, quarterback, a great, great uh, linebacker, and I think it's going to be uh, phenomenal with that. And uh, I really think this is uh, going to be a uh, going to be a really uh, a good player for the Browns. And we're uh, waiting for the Colts pick to come in in just a moment, uh, and so. Uh, So I think now the Panthers will have the 59th pick instead of the Browns. Uh, and uh, so uh, uh, there's a lot of other good players out there that a lot of these teams are going to try to make uh, 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 moves for a lot. And I know the Browns are going to continue to make some good moves in this draft. And uh, I just really feel that this was one of those, uh, the pick that they just got was one of the best the Colts were 11 and five last season, and uh, they got Carson Wentz now as their quarterback. Uh, 11 and five record, most wins since 2014, and I know they're going to want to do better, than, uh, really do better than that uh, this season. Ooh, excuse me. And we're about to find out who the Indianapolis Colts are about to select right now with the 54th pick. Deo Adini Gibo, defensive end Vanderbilt. And uh, I think uh, and he's a defensive end from Vanderbilt. And I think that's a good uh, choice for the, because they do need a defensive end, and because uh, their defense just struggled a lot last week, <clears throat> last last year, and they just need to really uh, improve on that on their defense and their offense. The uh, Pittsburgh, uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers, are uh, back on the clock, and they've already had a. Uh, I think one, no, they have not had a pick at all this round. But they did get a pick in last night. Uh, I'm trying to see where they came in. But I know Pittsburgh did. I know Pittsburgh had one. Uh, I'm trying to find where it is. I am sorry. I know Pittsburgh did have a pick in here last night. And after, oh, number 24. They took uh, Najee's Harris running back Alabama. So uh, now this was a, a good pick. That was a good pick because they needed a running back. And uh, the Steelers pick is in. We are always in. Uh, Dylan uh, Renewal's offensive tackle, North Dakota State. That's where, the, where it was. That was a good pick uh, for... Uh, the uh, for the uh, Tennessee Titans, and the Steelers pick is in, and uh, we're gonna find out who they selected right now, and we beat them in the AFC wildcard game last season. 
And Franco Harris is about to present to, to tell us who it is. Pat Freemuth, uh, tight end, Penn State. Yeah, Freemuth. A tight end from Penn State. And I thought they would go to wide receiver. This is another surprise pick, but I think it's a good pick for Pittsburgh. And, uh,. Now the uh, Seattle Se Seahawks are back on the clock. But I think uh, this was a good pick for the Pittsburgh Steelers because I, th I feel they they really need a, a, a tight end. And they were 12-4 in first place in the NFC. Uh, in the, uh, uh, the Seattle was 12-4 in first place in the NFC uh, West. And so... Uh, yeah, three total, uh, three total picks entering this draft. And Russell Wilson was sacked 47 times in 2020, third most in the NFL. And I know he's not going to want to let that happen again, but I think this time the uh, they're going to go with either a linebacker or a guard in uh, this uh, pick this round, the Seattle Seahawks. And we're waiting for that to come in. But... Uh, now, and we're starting to wind down round two of the uh, uh, NFL draft. We're waiting for Seattle's pick uh, to uh, come in. And uh, the Browns do have a... Uh, they have a uh, pick in uh, all the rounds. They have the 89th pick in the third round and the 91st pick in the third round. So they'll have two picks in the uh, third round. The Browns will have. Uh, and so the draft is back in commercials. I've got a, uh, at least uh, <clears throat> about two and a half minutes left in this segment. So uh, I hope I get this pick to be revealed before before I have to take a break. Uh, but I think this was a good one. I thought they would take a wide receiver, but I think they're a tight end for Pittsburgh. They needed that, and I think this is a good pick, Pat uh, Freemuth. And uh, he, he put up some big numbers in his career, and I think he's going to, his college career, I think he's going to do, uh, be good uh, with Pittsburgh. And uh, uh, I just really feel that uh, this is going to be, a, this was a good pick for him. And we will know in 20 seconds, I think the, the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars pick will, I mean, uh, the Seattle Seahawks, excuse me. Their pick will be in. And uh, I, th I just think they're going to go with a linebacker or a guard. And the pick is in. So we're waiting just a few moments for it to come in. So uh, we will find out that pick in just a moment. And so... <clears throat> And I just I wanna, uh, and I think Seattle uh, I think wants to have a uh, another great season and have a better run, twelve and four, but even do better than that. So uh, uh, we will see. Uh, so next season we'll have to wait, but they want this is another team that's gonna be able to make some moves. But I think they're gonna go. I said a linebacker and a guard. I think that either that linebacker or a guard in this round of the draft. So we will see who they will take. Uh, I've got I've got 55 seconds. I'm going to take a break. We'll be right back. Night two of the NFL draft continues in just a moment.